Hi friends, in this session I am going to show the demo of how Hazelcast can be used to publish and subscribe the messages. So in a distributed environment, uh, using Hazelcast topic or a reliable topic, we should be able to publish the messages and whoever is uh, uh, listening to those topics should be able to consume those messages. So I am going to show the demo. I am creating one publisher. So I am using topic. So here I am adding a public static void main. Uh, it's like a standalone application we should be able to see. So I should be able to get the Hazelcast instance using Hazelcast.get new Hazelcast instance. Hazelcast dot new Hazelcast instance. I'm using the default configuration which is provided in the Hazelcast uh, uh, jar. So now I'm going to get the topic. So hz dot get topic. We are going to use the topic name. If topic is not there, it will create the topic. If it, uh, topic is already created, we are able to retrieve the existing topic. So I'm going to give the name as uh, test topic. This is of type i topic. Example, if I'm publishing a message of type string, I can use string. Topic. Need to add the import for this topic. So to publish, it is just topic dot publish. What is I'm sending string, so I can add uh, hello world. I am going to publish hello world and I am printing messages published. Who are uh, listening to this topic should be able to consume this message. So now I am going to create one subscriber. See, uh, I same instance i should not be able to send and listen so i example if i am going to write a new client or a new member then i can able to add that listener and i should be able to consume those messages so i am going to create one more hazelcast instance to consume those messages so i am going to name it as topic subscriber And this is also standalone application, so I'm going to use public study hello world main. Here I'm going to get one more instance, Hazelcast instance. Hazel dot dot, sorry, Hazelcast dot new Hazelcast instance. new Hazelcast instance. So I'm going to use the same topic because I'm going to consume message from the same topic. I'm going to copy this. So now I need to add a listener for this. Add message listener. So I can create anonymous class or I can create the listener class and I should be able to use it. So now I'm going to create a new listener class. So I'm going to create new listener class. New class. String listener. A topic listener. I'll name it as topic listener. So 
it implements message listener implement spell implement message listener the type is string because we are going to consume messages of type string so we need to provide on message implementation this is where we are going to get the message whatever is published and from here whatever after receiving what you want to do you should be able to write the code here it's based on the events whenever a message comes uh, this listener is called so for now i'm just printing that message 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 dot get message object this will be having the message content so now i'm going to save this yeah here i have to use that uh, topic listener new topic listener This is subscriber. Just putting a subscriber. So now first I am going to start the subscriber. So my subscriber is created. And it was uh, listening to the topic messages. So now I am going to run the publisher. I'll restart my server one more time. So I'll start the publish subscriber. see now we are able to receive the messages published here and when i go to subscriber i should be able to see the message hello world is delivered to the subscriber instead of one subscriber if i'm having multiple subscribers let me start one more subscriber i'm starting three subscribers and one publisher so when publisher sends a message three subscribers able to listen that message able to consume that message so now I'm going to start my publisher See subscriber 1 received hello world message, subscriber 2 received hello world message and if I go to subscriber 3 hello world message. So 3 were able to receive the message and they were able to process that. So normally in the applications real time application something like uh, events which uh, triggers Uh, in real times like uh, something like application uh, availabilities if you are hitting from one server to other server that server may be having some uh, 
uh, up time every day maybe 9 o'clock it will be available something like that these type of events we should be able to use like from one system to other system we can send uh, events like this and all the nodes of that uh, a consuming system should be able to process and then able to do whatever it has to do and this is the realable to uh, this is a normal topic uh, here i have used only hazelcast uh, instance hazelcast member instead of hazelcast member i can use the client also For example i'll show with the client i'll stop all my subscribers So first I need to add prompt.xml that client dependency. I'll cast client dot get new hazelcast client even from not only member for client also we should be able to subscribe the message listener so i'll just start the server and show The class current will try to connect uh, because there is no member available so it tries every 300 seconds once this member is started it will connect so now let me go and check yeah subscriber is connected subscriber uh, didn't get the message let me start i uh, send one more subscribe publisher i'll publish one more message so message is published see this time we are able to receive the message hello world message hello world is received See, there is a chance that we may miss the messages in the normal topic. So, we have something called reliable topic. Uh, there, there is no chance, uh, we will not be able, uh, it will guarantee that we will able to process all the messages. The difference is, uh, for a reliable topic, we will be having a ring buffer, which will be with a sequence number, all the messages which are received will be stored in that uh, member uh, uh, in memory. So, even if the server is unable to process that time, later it should be able to receive the message and it should be able to process. So, I will show you how to use reliable topic. So, it is very simple. Instead of get topic, I will be using uh, get real, uh, reliable topic. So, here I am going to use sj dot get reliable topic. Here I am giving test reliable test reliable topic. So here it always maintains the messages are delivered. And this is also type uh, I topic. So I'm going to give the name as reliable topic. For this topic, I need to uh, implement reliable message listener. For normal topic, it is uh, just a message listener. Here it is uh, reliable message listener. By mistake, if the topic is uh, uh, normal topic and while publishing, if you are publishing to reliable topic, the message will not be delivered because both are different. So we should make sure if it is a topic, you have to uh, add the listener for the topic. If it is a reliable topic, we have to add the listener for that uh, reliable topic. So now I'm going to add, uh, uh, create one more uh, listener. It 
the implement reliable message listener apart from on message it has extra methods so here it will be having the initial sequence by default the ring buffer of initially starts with zero every time when you store the element the sequence number increases and the last element always will be the terminal so we have to only provide the implementation for on message others will uh, use default things here i'm just printing the message So I'm going in my subscriber I'm going to use that add message listener of this time it is reliable topic listener so I'm going to save it so again I'm using uh, hazel cast instance instead of client otherwise first time it will be waiting for the member to connect so i'm just using that and similarly in the publisher side i'm going to publish message to this reliable topic publish here i'm giving uh, hi hi friend some message publish message to reliable topic reliable topic so I am going to start two publishers and two subscribers This is my subscriber. I was able to receive the message from uh, normal topic as well as reliable topic because I have sent second time. So two messages were received. See, both the time we are able to receive the messages. So reliable topic is always uh, guarantees 100% uh, uh, delivery of the messages example if the topic the publisher is uh, fast and consumer is slow some messages, messages will be last if it is a normal topic because uh, slow consumer is unable to consume all the messages which are coming from the publisher but in case of reliable topic even though it is slow consumer because it has a sequence number uh, internally it maintains a ring buffer uh, it was still able to uh, process all the messages so based on our need we have to uh, uh, go for either a normal topic or reliable topic thank you friends uh, please subscribe to my channel for uh, new updates